Hey guys, welcome back to Long Dark Winter View, episode 6. Last video, we were attacked by a bear. Luckily, we got inside before it killed us. You're also freezing, so let's head inside. Oh wow, I'm very weighed down. Uh, what am I carrying that's so heavy? We're gonna have to check this in when we get inside Carter. Hello? Okay. Anyone here? This place looks like it's been empty for a while. Yeah, that's what the hunter said. <laughs> I'm gonna drop some crap on the floor real quick. Okay. Drop. Pop. There we go. Let's see what else we got here. We still have this, but what am I? I'm wearing in the placement of it. Oh, this. I think I'm actually gonna take a look here. Let's take a look here. It has more. This is actually better. Its wind resist is better, but it's. This one's rain and armor is up. But this one doesn't make me as slow. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, but hey, we got some worn work pants. Seems like the quakes did some damage here. Must be what the old guy meant about unstable. Yeah. What do you think it meant? Unstable. It obviously means there's gonna be stuff lying around that's... Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> Good one, Mackenzie. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn on... I'm gonna have to get my lantern out. Holy, this is where all of our weight's coming from. We definitely do not need all that. We're gonna, we're gonna go down to our, here's our lantern, actions, refuel. Okay, up one more. There we go. We got the light. I guess we'll kind of just explore. I'm. I don't really need a lot. Oh, that won't let us out. I mean, we'll search containers, but I'm not gonna look through here very, very closely. <gasps> Ooh! What the? Thank goodness. Distress, Distress pistol. So we have another gun. That'll come in handy. Well then, admin office, force talker, damn note. I smell a small story coming out. What's this? Wonder if this is any good to eat. Peanut butter! <laughs> I hate peanut butter, but hopefully Mackenzie likes it. Forgotten here. Bandage. 
Oh, control room. Uh... Looks like this thing isn't opening unless I can get the power working again. But that's a problem for later. I have to get those radio parts. Okay, that's a turbine room. Said there's an admin room though. The admin room probably has something important. But I guess we're gonna have to go down here. Okay, mister. This will come in handy. Nice. Well, there's just a, lot, a whole bunch of bullets laying around. What were you doing, buddy? Gosh. You can't get through there. They're really limiting what we can do here. this anymore. Let's see if that's any better than what we got. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. As wind resist is down, it's it's not better. We definitely gonna drop these flares because we got now got a flare gun. Um. Oh gosh. Let's chug down some soda then. We got a lot on us. Oh, we're not thirsty. Gosh dang it. Eat a lot. There we go. That should lighten the load a little bit. And we're gonna wanna drop this, this, and this, and this. No, oh, well, we can also drop this. Um, anything else? Oh. Drop all this scrap metal. We're still overweight, but we... We'll be able to pull through here. Oh, so there's an upstairs. We, we'll go up then. Yeah, this is the radio room. Ooh. Aid station. That sounds like what the trapper needs. First medical key. But we have a pry bar. I could use this. No, you can't. We don't need any of this. I just need the key. Key, key, key. Where is the key? I want some outer layers, like, these inner layers are awesome, but I want some outer layers. This stuff will come in handy. This is so annoying, I can't find the key. Is it maybe back downstairs? any of these drawers are gonna have it. I think I can use this. Crap. Where is the key? 
Okay, this is our last thing, and then we're gonna have to go back downstairs and look. Oh crap, no, 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 we need that, we need that. Come on, light back up. Light back up. There we go. Ooh, crumpled note. Regina, the per penmanship on this note suggests the author was in a hurry. I left it in the cave, head back out from the dam, follow the river, look for a cave near a clearing with the hunter's blind. Um, find the cache in Alan's cave in Mystery Lake. Oh, is it food or? So there's something there. Interesting. But I don't think it's gonna have what we need. Betting this door door's blocked. Yep. Let's head back downstairs. Look, keep looking for the key. I just don't know where the key could be. But maybe in here? We didn't look in here very much. This will come in handy. Sure, it looks like it has a little bit of fuel in it. We definitely don't need any more food. We have so much food. Straight ahead. Turbine room, control room, restroom. Okay, admin office is straight at ad okay. Admin office elevator. This way. Oh wait, no. We gotta go around this and then to the right. And through here. Still no key. Let's search these. Thank goodness. Come on, where's this key? can't go to the admin room until I somehow get the power back on. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. Do we not have the key? Can we not just force it open? Station medical locker key. Ooh, this is a door. That's locked. Wait, have we been back there? No, we haven't. Oh, so this is the admin room. This must be. There's the key. There's the key. Elevator maintenance stairs. Anything else useful? Oh, hey! This guy wants some medals. Could end up being useful. Nice, we got some more bullets. I think we can actually wear that. Yes, we're wearing it. Yay. 
So it has lots of wind resistance and water resistance. S let's repair it real quick. Uh oh. Um. Here, let's. Uh. There, now we got this one. That's the one I was looking for. Yes. Must Let's be something up. we can use to fix the short wave. Radio parts. I don't want that. I want. Well. Okay. Let's get the medical stuff. Then we get to run all the way back. Okay, Carter Hydro. Industrial strength antibiotics and very strong painkillers. Dangerous. You can get hooked on this stuff. Let's hope we don't need it. Get the medical supplies back to the old trapper before he dies. Oh my gosh. Does that mean we have like a time limit? Do we gotta like run? Oh gosh, now I'm worried. I gotta get back. Ah, but it's a blizzard. I don't. Mm. Let's put that out. Grab our rifle. Deep upper dam. We got 15 rifle shots, which is nice. Better check in on that old trapper. I don't like this. I'm scared. I don't want to die. Because if we die, we're dead. We're like, like, we're dead, dead. This is not the weather you want to be traveling in. Here. Okay, we gotta drop something. Right there. That's better. There's the rail tracks. Jeez, we almost lost the rail tracks. That would not have been good. Of 
course we're heading up wind. So we're even slower. I hate to say it, but I think we're gonna have to sleep in this car here. This is when we need to fight the fire, so we can sleep for four hours before the fire goes out. <coughs> oh, we still got two hours. get around it so we're gonna have to wait a little bit. That worked, kind of. Come on, let me through. I hear wolves. I hear wolves. Oh, so we could only aim for so long. Till the fire's out. I'm not seeing the bear. Okay, it should go out by now. Music just started playing. Let's do for another hour. <laughs> okay, that's what I wanted so we could get through. Spooky music's playing. I'm moving out. Spring our life. Oh, 
Oh no, we're. I don't think we're any close. No, we're not close yet. We still got some ways to go. I'm glad I noticed. I don't know why the music started playing. Like something was gonna happen. It had me worried for a sec that we were gonna get like surprise attacked by a bear or, or a pack of wolves. Unfinished business, he says. I say that bear needs to kill you, and you should probably leave now. <sighs> We're most likely going to meet the bear right outside the house. We're losing temperature fast. I don't know how much farther we got to go. We will make it. Okay, it looks like there's Mystery Lake. Just around that rock there. Jeez, it takes so long to get from Carter to Hunter's cabin. That's a bear. Either a cabin or a bear. Okay, we gotta we gotta check our map because we're getting close to where we gotta turn off. We're gonna wanna start going right. Okay. Once we get around here, we're gonna start heading right. Thank goodness. Made it through another night. Thank goodness there's a wolf right there. Honestly, I can pot shot it if I want. I could, I could take a pot shot and hope for the best. Come on, line up, line up, line up. Ah! <gasps> I can't. I don't want to waste my shot, but, but it's there. Well, didn't hit it, but it scared it away. It scared the poor little wolfie away. That's all that counts. Yeah, we're on the right path. There's the broken down cabin, and then we just gotta go left a little bit, I think. And we're most likely gonna meet the bear right outside the hunter's cabin. Cause that's how these kind of stories go, is... Do you think you're safe, you're gonna save your friend, but then the bear delays you and he dies. again. Okay, actually I was wrong. I'm gonna go this way. You don't have to go left. We gotta go straight on. Right up this hill.
music. There is music. Whoa! I must be too heavy. Crap. I gotta drop something. Um I don't know what I can drop. Die, come on. Sprained wrist, pain. Uh, you gotta treat it with bandages. Then we'll use a pain, some painkillers. Oh. gotta make it up come on that was sca I was scared there I thought we were gonna die I thought like something that came up behind us my fingers feel numb um, we're getting cold okay we gotta check the map again yeah we gotta get over this hill Jeez, I did not expect to get a sh sprain my wrist and stuff. That really scared me. <laughs> Just one wrong move can screw you over in this game. That was scary, but we're at the top of the hill now. We should soon be able to move a little bit faster. Come on. Come on, I should be able to at least run a little bit. Oh my gosh, there's so much traveling involved in this game. What's our trajectory? Gotta just keep moving. Now I have to descend, which is going to be even trickier. Oh god. I don't like this. Ah, oh, no! This isn't good. Okay. Bandages. Painkiller. Oh, God. I should have just gone around. I was a big doofus. That was dumb. But, you know, that's just part of the game. Be stupid, you lose, you lose stuff. And I just lost two bandages and painkillers. Why did I try going down that? But that's like almost vertical slope. Oh come on. Don't kid me on this. We're barely heading down. There we go. Trajectory forward. Oh, I, 
I gotta, I gotta drop, I gotta drop something. What is so heavy? Oh, eight liters of water. Let's drop like six. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Sprain wrist healed. But why can't I run? Come on, I healed the sprain. I heal healed the sprain wrist and everything. I'm not over. I'm not overweight. Sorry, this video is just taking absolute years. Like, what are our afflictions here? No afflictions. We're just numb. Is that why? Do we gotta maybe heat warm up? Oh yeah, but I don't want to waste the materials because we're almost back. Okay, hypothermia risk. Damn freezing. Come on, come on, come on, fire. We gotta get ourselves warm. I'm definitely gonna have to time lapse this. Come on. Come on. Well, thank goodness for that. Just take all my sticks. Did we pick up our bedroll? Did we pick up our bedroll? Oh no! No, I didn't pick up my bedroll. Oh no! Oh, that's not good. Okay, we're going. Oh god. I at least want to get back to the thing. This is going to be a 40 minute video of me traveling. I still don't understand why I can't run. What's our trajectory? Just around this rock we should be be in sight of the cabin. Only reason I pulled out my rifles because I know the the bear is gonna show up again right when I get back. Okay. Uh. I probably shouldn't have done that. I just used its emergency stim so I could run back to this guy. That wasn't smart, because I don't have anywhere to sleep. Ah, wrong side. Right here, right here, right here. Whew.
Dude, you better get out of bed so I can sleep. up. You're probably a bit delirious too. I just gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while, but it'll help. And you're gonna need some time to recover. Time? We don't have time. We need to get a message out. It's important. Message? You mean to your friend? Asking for medical help? Never mind that. Help me up so I can look at the radio. Let's see if the parts you brought back are any good. Okay. I'm warming myself up again. That's a military shortwave, isn't it? Maybe. I know a bit about radios. That's not like any surplus I've ever seen. Damn it! Well, the parts look fine. So, whatever's wrong with the radio goes deeper than that. What could it be? Uh, something to do with the power. <laughs> Fuses. Transformers, maybe. We have bigger problems to deal with first. That bear's out there, hunting us. He's a smart old bastard. He'll okay. keep us from getting out, getting supplies, finding help. Eventually, he'll either get us or starve us out. I gotta lay down. Help me back to the bed. Okay. dam was pretty busted up, like you said. Place was cracked open by the quake years ago and never recovered. I was already half dead at the time. Uh oh. Meaning? The dam dates back to the 60s. Industrialists from the mainland wanted to use it to power a mining town he was planning to build. But the bottom fell out of the price of coal, and he had to abandon those plans. Some fool tried to get it running again in the 80s, but then the forest talkers got involved, and that was the end of it. Pretty sure the Quakes finished the job once and for all. What's this unfinished business between you and the bear? Ah. Yeah. Me and the old bear. Every time we meet, we make a little trade. And what do you trade? <laughs> Each other's blood, mostly. Sounds like a losing proposition. Oh, I'm sure it will be. For one of us. Woman. The main reason I'm out here is... I'm looking for someone. Ha! <laughs> you won't find too many people out here. That's kind of the whole point. This is someone important to me. A woman. She may have passed through here a few days ago. She might have been injured. What makes you think she came through here? She passed through the tunnel leaving Milton, but then... I'm not sure. Well... The roads from Milton don't lead this way. Wherever she's headed, you'll have to cross the mountains to find her. Not an easy path, even for the most experienced outdoorsman. I'll do whatever it takes. Well, you won't get far with that bear on the prowl. What we need is to get my radio up and running, so we can find out what the hell is going on. Maybe someone out there has seen your friend. The woman I'm looking for. She might be on her way to a place called Perseverance Mills. You know it? 
Yeah. Shit, nothing town. North part of the island. Uh, sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. We were on our way there, my passenger and I, when we crashed. I need to find a way to get there, or contact her. See if she's all right. You sure she's alive? Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, well, normally I'd make some calls on the old shortwave. Whole area's been damn quiet since those lights in the sky. Even the wildlife's acting strange. But I might have an idea. I yell. <laughs> you said you had an idea. What do you have in mind? Hmm. Well, it's a long shot. But I may know how we can find out about your friend. I'm listening. Okay. This shortwave. I use it to keep an ear open for what's going on. So how do we get the radio working? There's no reason I can see why it shouldn't be working. Well, what about more parts? Or another radio? We might find another radio. But I think I have a better idea. Problem is, it's no use with the old bear out there. Your path to a working radio, and our survival, is through that bear. Okay. We have to find a way to deal with him first. I am ready. <laughs> okay. So we have to deal with the bear. But you're half dead, and rifle shots don't seem to do much. So... That's because the old bear is special. I've been hunting and trapping for years, and I've shot a lot of bears. But I've never encountered anything quite like him. A special bear like that needs special magic to bring him down. Uh, magic? What do you mean? Don't worry. I'm not delirious. I don't mean literal magic. But we need the old knowledge. The old ways. What do you have in mind? There's an old story. Local legend, maybe, about one of the original settlers of this place, Spence. The story goes something like this. Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty with his young family in tow. For generations, the family had been traders in the Hudson's Bay Company. Oh, cool. Old voyageur stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Bear wanders off, but Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips into fever. For days, delirious, she screams about the bear. Local doctor can't do a thing for her, neither can the priest. A week later, a hired hand goes missing, and they find him. Just a body, ravaged. Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them. Revenge for some slight in the past, maybe. Something in the family history. Spence gets some men together for a hunting party. They go out into the muskeg and track something big for days. Eventually corner it. Ah, oh, it's a big son of a bitch. Biggest bear they'd ever seen. Man killer. Story goes, they empty their rifles into the bear and it just walks away. Like it's made of stone. They call it the demon bear after that. Wife's dying now. Spence believes the bear's evil spirit is killing her. Eating her soul. He can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. They know rifles don't work. So he forges a spear. Like a boar spear, but bigger. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the muskeg, disappears for days. And then one morning, the wife's fever breaks. But nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him. And they find him. Half dead. Blood all over him. Body torn almost in two. The bears work. The last thing he says is, Spear stole the bear's soul. 
my wife is now free. And then he's gone. So, did he kill the bear? Nobody knows. Never found a carcass. They buried Spence, took the spear back, and hung it over the mantelpiece in the Spence homestead. Never saw that bear, or any other, again. Years later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. So, do you believe it? The story of the demon bear and the spear stealing its soul? <laughs> no, of course not. I, <laughs> I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. But the old stories sometimes have. Sorry about it if I'm being quiet. I just want to listen. Spends might have to been story. superstitious, but he had the right idea. Ten inches of cold hard steel might do what a bullet can't. I'm convinced. A spear's the way to kill that bear. And you need to get Spence's bear-killing spear if we're going to survive the winter. The old hunting lodge is still there. A couple of days' journey south. Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg, and you'll find it. If the spear's there, get it. It might be our best hope. And the radio? You deal with the bear, and let me worry about the radio. <coughs> Let me rest. Good luck out there. Jeez. Watch out for. Oops. Right. Okay. I wonder. I wonder. This is bad. Oh, I can't shoot inside. That's too bad. Well, guys, I think we're going to end it there. This has been a long episode. It's We've just been walking on and on and on and on and on. Kind of torture. But we're going to got to. We got to stop. We got to stop. Oh. I'm too tired to think straight. We're going to have to deal with us painting next episode uh i guess see you all next time bye